Welcome back. You're listening to Houston Real Estate Radio. I'm your host, Shanna Register, and every week we bring you news and information you can use on your next real estate transaction. One of the things I want to make sure to tell you about today, we are running into the end of our Zeus Mortgage iPad uh, iPad Mini promotion. So if you have not gone over to the Houston Real Estate Radio Facebook page and hit the like button, do that now. You can do it from your mobile phone. You can do it from your, uh, your computer. Make sure that you like the Houston Real Estate Radio Facebook page, and that way that you'll be entered in our drawing to win the Zeus Mortgage iPad Mini. It'll make a great, uh, great gift this holiday season. All right, this segment, um, we have Skyping in from San Antonio, Ruben Pena. And Ruben is the VA, or uh, yeah, the VA rep, um, for um, the, this is a new veteran association, basically. I'm going to let him tell you all about it. I <laughs> learned about this first at the TAR convention. Um, I never heard of it before, learned about it, and now I hear that they are coming to Houston. So really great information for you. It's an organization uh, really for realtors to get them more information to be able to help consumers because even though we don't have a, you know, a base or a, a post here in the Houston area um, or not, significant enough to really uh, speak of, I guess. We, we we do still have veterans. We have retired veterans. We have um, we, we still have a lot of veterans. If you go down to the VA hospital, you'll see we have a lot of veterans in the Houston area. So welcome to the show, Ruben. Thank you, Shannon. How are you today? <clears throat> I am doing good. So you're with the Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals. Tell yes. us about what What are you guys doing? Okay, well, first, let me say thank you to all your listeners who have worn the uniform, the men and women of our country who have been um, brave over the years to uh, help defend this country. And we, we can't thank them enough. And so I'll take this opportunity on the radio to say thank you to all those men and women. Very good. All right. Okay. Sure. And so your question was, what do we do? <clears throat> yes. Tell You're me right? about the organization. Sure. Well, VA REP stands for Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals. Uh, we're based out of California. We're a not-for-profit organization, 501c3 group. It was founded by two veterans. And uh, their idea was, that as veterans, they understand the policies and, and the needs for housing and education and everything that a veteran needs because they are veterans. And they've been there. And their idea was to put this together to help other veterans so that they don't have to go through a lot of the uh, issues or um, bad issues, if you want, and bad information that sometimes is not out there or out there yeah. and it's given to someone and they're, they're, they're taken advantage of. So you guys are a national group, but you're bringing that's, it down to the to the local um, cities. So I know that you've talked with HAR, and that's something that, that's coming to the Houston area. And, you know, it's interesting because here in Texas, we have the Texas Veterans Land Board, and I know you guys kind of work alongside of them as far as educating realtors, educating consumers. Um, but a lot of states don't have uh, right. no, really, no other states, I don't think, have the like a land board like we have in Texas. And so I can see a huge need for it across the U.S. where all you have is um, veterans trying to get VA loans. And there's a big gap between the realtor end and the VA loan end that the, that the lender's doing. And so I can see where this would really bridge the gap. I think that the Texas Veterans Land Board here in, in, the, in the Texas does help with some of that, though. So I know you guys are going to be working alongside of them as well. Yeah, we, we, we help to complement each other and what we do in our efforts of education and their efforts as well. They've been around a lot longer than we have. Uh, we currently have 14 chapters. We just opened up or launched the Dallas-Fort Worth uh, chapter last Thursday, and it was a great success. And uh, uh, one of the representatives from the Austin office out of the Texas Veteran Lands Board was there as well to support us. And uh, we're looking at, of course, we have a San Antonio chapter. We're looking at um, the Houston area, greater Houston area next February to actually launch it, have a big opening celebration and bring all the board members in. The board itself consists of eight, uh, eight board members. And of those eight board members, four of them have to be uh, veterans, uh, not necessarily uh, in the service now, but at least veterans. Uh, okay. The chairman, the chairman or, or president needs to he or she needs to be a, a veteran. And do you all and, check to make sure they were honorably, honorably discharged? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We have an application process for them and and they do it. They do that online. The application we go through, we review, we review, review it through our national board and myself. And then we've, we've had a, a lot of interest from people in the Houston area. Matter of fact, uh, a little over a week ago, I was in Houston for kind of an impromptu meeting with uh, uh, local agents to see if there was any interest from, from some of them. We had, we had about 57, 58 people show up to a meeting. 
from different offices. Mm-hmm. And uh, all of them said, yeah, we're, we want to do it. We're excited about it. And I had people step forward as, as veterans usually do and say, I want to take on the task of being the chair. Or I want to take the task of being governmental affairs person. Mm-hmm. And so well, you know, um, the Texas Veterans Land Board is a government agency, yes. just like VA. And so this is something, this is an alternative. This is something different because, like you said, it's it's a nonprofit organization. And I know y'all are doing a lot to work with the housing industry and help um, veterans, assisting some veterans in ho- you know, home ownership that wouldn't have it otherwise. So that's a great thing that you guys are doing. You know, one of the, and we were talking a little bit about this before the show, one of the, you know, kind of my soapbox when it comes to the VA is, when you are in an area like Colleen, Texas, and you're selling real estate, you don't have problems with VA. The right. loan officers know what they're doing. The realtors know what they're doing. The yep. VA appraisers go out and appraise just like they were appraising any other house, and you don't have problems. Right. When you try to do a VA loan in Houston, Texas, you have problems. I just did one. It came in $10,000 low. It is very hard for me as much as I, I love veterans. My husband's a veteran. As much as I love veterans and I want people to use their VA benefits, it is very hard for me to encourage my seller to take a 100% VA loan over any other type of loan because I know the appraisers are going to have, it's going to have an issue in appraisal. And I'm talking about a house that had $35,000 worth of upgrades. I'm talking about a house in a great neighborhood with a great school. I mean, there was no reason for that house not to come in at full value and it, it's very upsetting for the sellers it's very upsetting for everyone involved and until we fix what's broken right it's hard to get a va in houston it is hard it's not hard to get the va loan it's hard to get the seller to take it because if that seller's got a good realtor that realtor that realtor has to say to them this is what could happen when you take a VA loan. I mean, I have to be honest with them. I sure. know but I have a, we have a track record for it. We yeah. know this is what happens. So my question to you is, what's it going to take to fix what's broken so that people in Houston can use their VA benefits the way they should be able to use it anywhere in the country at any time? Well, those are good comments, and, and I'm sorry that you went through what you had to go through. You know, we're in, I'm in San Antonio, Military USA. Yeah, y'all don't basically. have a problem there either, do you? <laughs> <laughs> but what we'd like to do is is mirror what happens in Fort Fort Hood and in San Antonio yep. when it comes to that process. Yeah. You know, and I, you know, we're we're working on this, you know, nationally. We want this to be the same in every city and every state that we go into. Should be. Uh, and it should be. And I think what's going to have to take place is an awareness of the programs and the, and the awareness that the realtors are, are supporting the VA mm-hmm. and that we're educating our sellers at the same time. And the more, you know, the more we know about what we do, uh, the easier our, our job becomes mm-hmm. with sellers and lenders and everybody else involved in it. And I think it's just going to have to take some, uh, uh, some time to help people get familiar with our programs and what we're doing and we're really pushing real hard on the educational side of it and as we come to houston or fort hood or corpus or el paso or austin wherever at, that's going to be a big push for us on the educational side is getting people to understand there's nothing wrong with doing the VA loan and meeting with the right. appraisers as well and that association and helping them understand that we've got a, a a segment of our country huge segment of our country of veterans who should be taking advantage of their eligibility, mm-hmm. and we're going to need their help to help them do that. Absolutely. You know, here in Houston, I mean, you pretty much had to have cash in order to get a house over the last year. It's been so wow. competitive. Wow. But as that competitive go, you know, as that competition goes down, and we see more houses coming on the market, um, what it kind of goes back to the norm, and the norm has been right. that everybody wants to take anything but a VA loan. And so I yep. hope that changes. I want to see that change. I would like to figure out a way to fix it, to help fix it, because I know it needs to be fixed. We've got a lot of veterans who need to be able to take advantage of their oh, VA benefits. That, it's a great benefit. What, that's a great yes, benefit. it is. And that's one of the things that we're going to work on on the national side of it, is yes. getting that awareness out there. Fantastic. Well, I appreciate it. Ruben Pena, he is Skyping in from San Antonio. He's with the, the VA rep program and lots of great information. You you know, we have lots of, uh, lots of things to choose from as realtors, lots of organizations and I think it's great. This is another organization to be a part of to get great information out there um, to help our veteran clients. So I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you, Shannon. Happy holidays. Thank you. Same to you. All right. We'll be right back here on Houston Real Estate Radio. Thanks for listening.